Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel. For me, Animal Crossing New Horizons has become one of my favourite video games of all time, especially because of all the love, care and attention to detail put into the game. This is a game full of amazing details, many of which are hard to spot. However, thanks to a huge base of players who love to seek out even the tiniest of details, I've decided to create a video going over 40 amazing small details that you should know about in Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're excited for this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos like this one. Number 1. You can actually see what the weather is like outside from indoors. Look out of a window and you'll be able to see what delights or perhaps cold horrors await you outside. It's pretty neat. Number 2. The music in Resident Services is actually a combination of both Tom Nook and Isabel's themes from Animal Crossing New Leaf to match the fact that they both now work in the same building. I recommend stopping and listening sometimes so you can see what I mean. Number 3. Speaking of music, when you visit a dream island the music will actually be kind of muffled. Of course, this is paired with the blurry effect you're greeted by when you wake up in a dream to help immerse you within your new dreamy setting. Number 4. The wheels will actually turn on some items when you move them around. It's the simple things that keep this game rolling, so I really love this small little detail. Number 5. When it snows, your villagers will actually dress up warmer in nice coats and hats. I didn't give them these items to wear, they had them ready in preparation for the coldest season of the year. Bruh. Number 6. Nook's cranny will change with the seasons. You can always expect an exciting new look for it. My personal favourite is the Christmassy one, it just feels so cosy which I love. The interior and the exterior would also change to spice some things up. Number 7. Resident services will also do the same for some events like Turkey Day, Halloween and Toy Day 2. Number 8. Your character actually has some more realistic kneecaps in New Horizons. This was the source of many memes of course, it doesn't actually impact anything, it's just sort of there. Number 9. Toe Beans. I can't make this video without mentioning the fact that the animals in this game actually have little toe beans that match their style. It's adorable and perhaps one of my favourite small changes in this game. Number 10. The air from the fans actually move things they're close to. I thought this was such a charming little detail. I'm honestly a really big fan of it. Number 11. When walking barefoot, the sounds coming from your feet are different from when you're walking with shoes. Give it a listen in the game. Number 12. Since this game introduced more dynamic weather, tree leaves will actually move around in the wind. I'm a really big fan of a nice windstorm, so I really love this little detail. Number 13. When going inside a villager's house, you're usually going to have a chat with them. However, if you leave without saying anything, they'll give you a confused little look. Makes sense, our play character is actually pretty crazy. Number 14. Your feet do a little bop when you sit down on things. This one is particularly relatable for me. Number 15. The music actually muffles when you go diving underwater. I personally haven't spent much time diving since the feature was released back in like July I think, but this may be a reason to check it out again, I don't know. Number 16. The light from candles will flicker and cast light onto things around them. A good example of how great the lighting and shaders are in this game. Number 17. The little icon in the bottom right corner of the screen when loading the game will change with the seasons. Mine is looking pretty frosty right now. Number 18. The character Stitches actually has different coloured toe beans to match the fact he's a patchwork bear. I honestly don't know how this guy eats or breathes or anything given the fact he's made out of stuffing, but he's adorable and that's really what counts. Number 19. Isabel's little drink in her office will change from time to time. You can catch her drinking a cosy little hot chocolate today for example, but sometimes it kind of looks like she's busting out the tequila. Very relatable Isabel. Number 20. I couldn't create this video without mentioning the fact that if you sit down on a toilet, you can actually use it and get rid of excess energy that you had. You can poop in Animal Crossing. This is the future. Number 21. The little cherry blossoms will actually float down the stream in April, which is a really nice, cute little detail that I love. This is actually my favourite time of the year in the game, so to see this made me really happy. Number 22. 
Isabel has some cosmos on her little sweater. It's very, very cute. She'll also change her sweater to a floral t-shirt in the warmer seasons, so don't get too used to one look from Isabel. Tomnook will also change his warm sweater to a shirt. Number 23. When visiting resident services, you can catch Tomnook and Isabel doing different activities each time. This just helps make them feel a bit more interesting rather than just sitting there doing literally nothing, which some characters certainly do. My personal favourite is when they start to do aerobics because of course this is an absolutely incredible sight. Number 24. These little lanterns from the cherry blossom season move pretty dynamically in the wind. Since they're made of paper, they move from side to side much more easily, and the ribbon also moves around independently too. The wind seems to be doing a lot in New Horizons. Number 25. Our eyes actually have little pupils, which wasn't a thing in past Animal Crossing games. It's simple, but it does give our characters a more fleshed out look, and I really like that. I never change up my character, so I've gotten so used to how he looks now, and I can't imagine him looking different at all, pupils included. Number 26. When you visit the airport within a dream, you're going to get some interesting dialogue from Orville about how he can't imagine you getting to the island. I don't think he realizes he's asleep. Bless. Number 27. On your birthday, your absolute best buddies will be the ones to host your party for you. So don't worry, none of the ones you hate will show up. Just Blessed Bob and the other associated animal friends. Number 28. Around Halloween, the special characters around the island will actually wear little hats to celebrate the season. It's super adorable and one of my favourite little holiday changes in the entire game. I mean, come on, who doesn't love Halloween and the spooky season anyways? Number 29. When popping confetti during a ceremony, the characters will actually wince a little in shock of the mini explosion they've brought upon the world. It's a very cute little detail. Number 30. The little birds that appear on the bulletin board during the daytime will become owls at night. This was also the case in Animal Crossing New Leaf, and it's a little detail that I've always really loved. Number 31. The fish in this game actually look a lot more realistic than past versions. Of course, the graphics have been upgraded, so this makes sense, but some of these guys are just plain off-putting to me. Number 32. On occasion, you can catch your villagers having a little sniff of the flowers you've planted around the island. I'm glad they appreciate my hard work in this regard because they certainly aren't sitting on any of my benches. Number 33. When it gets very windy, the tides from the ocean will actually hit the rocks surrounding your beach. This is just a really cool little detail that I wanted to point out whilst I was walking along my coast. Number 34, your character will leave a ton of cute little footprints on the beach as you walk around. You can make a proper mess of these as you wander around your long beaches. Number 35, even though they look permanently fixed to his face, you can actually change Raymond's glasses by giving him some as a present. If you want to change this cat from nerdy into cool, it's certainly possible, but I personally like him the way he is. Number 36, Flora's house is full of flamingos. This of course makes sense because even though she's technically an ostrich villager, she's designed to be a flamingo. Her house matches the real life environment of these pink birds. Number 37. The frogs in Animal Crossing don't wear any protective clothing when it rains. They're of course massive fans of the rain and will on occasion make comments about how they love the rainy weather you can experience in the game. Number 38. Speaking of frogs, gifting an umbrella to a frog villager will only give you plus one friendship points with them, whereas any other villager is plus two. Pretty cool, but we need to ask, who at Nintendo really loves frogs to do all these changes? And if they love frogs so much, why did they leave out the froggy chair? I just don't know. Number 39. Victoria's house is a racetrack and is full of different little racehorses. It's super cute even though these horses aren't real. Don't tell her guys. Number 40. There's actually a little portrait of Nat in the museum. Nat is a character from previous Animal Crossing games who had a massive interest in bugs and also hosted the bug catching events in previous games. This seems like a cute little homage to him which I really like, especially since this is kind of like a little laboratory where he could kind of work. I hope you guys enjoyed me going over these 40 small details. I really think these kinds of little details that perhaps people might have missed are some of the best parts of this game. Although New Horizons may be missing a lot of content that we love, there's no denying that a lot of love and polish was put into this game, and I really do appreciate the lengths the developers went to so they could make this game feel really immersive and interesting. I'd love for you guys to tell me in the comment section down below which small details you've noticed and really enjoyed, so we can all discover some more cool little additions that we may have missed.
Now, I'd like to give a word from my sponsor. Are you tired of picking up a magazine to read only to find out that it's not a magazine at all, but actually a copy of George Harrison's 1970 album All Things Must Pass? Well, be tired no more. Presenting The Crossing Board Magazine. You can't listen to it, but you can read it. The Crossing Board Magazine was created by a diverse team of fans who provide you with a monthly issue full of all of the Animal Crossing goodness you could possibly want, from guides to giveaways to recipes and so much more. You can subscribe to The Crossing Board like you can subscribe to services like Netflix and get a new copy sent to you every single month. They also have digital versions for those of you who want something on the go. If you want to get the January issue in time for the new year, you'll need to subscribe before January 1st at 12 a.m. GMT. Make sure to subscribe today and get a hold of the best Animal Crossing magazine around. I want to give a big thanks to my channel members who help support the channel and the content that I make every month. If you want to become a channel member and get a whole bunch of really cool perks for doing so, consider clicking the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more about how you can become a channel member. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, show your support, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more videos. I want to give a big thanks to my followers on Twitter for helping me with lots of these ideas. I'll leave a link to the thread in the description so you guys can check that out, and once again, thank you for watching.